What's up guys, Bladen here, and I know it's been a long time since I've posted a video, uh, especially a long time since I've consistently updated, so uh, I'm here to give a little bit of a plan for the channel going forward and uh, what's going to be going on. So for those of you who don't know, um, there was a an emergency IRL event happened um, last month. Uh, my stepmom died tragically in a hiking accident, and it it was not too long after uh, my grandpa passed away, and she was with she was with my dad on vacation, and um, I have been trying to help my dad in any way that I can. Um, I was I was very close with my stepmom. Uh, they had been together for 15 years, and they had just got married last year. And it it has been pretty much hell for for my dad. Um, things things keep getting worse. Uh, but fortunately, I think we have you know we have a good support group. We have a good amount of people that can that can help out. But moving on from that, uh, I want to talk more specifically about the channel. So as you guys can see, this is not wow. This is a game called New World. It is another MMO. It's $40 off Steam. It's Amazon's first MMO release. Uh, as far as I'm aware, at least. It's their first big game. And I have been absolutely loving it. Guys, if you if you like WoW, I can almost guarantee you, you will enjoy this game. This game reminds me of a combination of um, classic type of gameplay or not gameplay, but classic type of mechanics where, uh, you know, there's a lot of gathering and crafting. But the crafting and the professions are so easy to do in this game. They all make sense. It all flows together so very well. And, you know, you don't really have to do it. And it, it doesn't feel like you are grinding professions when you're doing them. And uh, first of all, professions is not what the game is about either. It's, it's not what people, you know, mean about, oh, crafting simulator this, crafting simulator that. But yes, crafting is part of the game, but you know it's not my it's not my favorite part. My favorite part is the PvP. The PvP and then specifically the world PvP in this game is so fun. Um, there are many different types of PvP in the world. There's world PvP. There's fort PvP. Sorry if you guys can hear the uh, the sirens right now. Hope, hopefully it's not in the video. It's pretty loud. Um, anyway, there's world PvP. There's fort PvP, and by forts I mean each zone here has a fort to control. It's a, uh, like, not a city, but it's a, it's a type of zone where, I'm sorry, you guys can definitely hear that, right? Okay, I'm gonna wait, and they're gone. Okay, so the, the forts in this game, they give you more rep, more EXP, uh, tax bonuses, or I guess tax credits, because it, it reduces taxes. Um, but there's a lot of PVP typically outside these forts, because you want to control them. Now, you can also wage war against other factions in this game. So I am the purple faction here, so these are the zones that my my group controls. Um, and the green is the Marauder faction, and the yellow is the Covenant. And even though yellow only has one zone, they actually do have a decent amount of, uh, a decent amount of players. Um, it looks like they are assaulting uh, this zone up here. And the way you assault zones in this game is by... Um, you know, obviously you, you want to control the fort and then you want to do the PvP missions. Now, each town has three PvP missions, which you can pick up at your faction, um, your, pa your faction quest giver, and mine is right here. And I'm on my way currently to do these three PvP missions up here. But since we already retain this town, it only gives me the faction PvP tokens and some town rep. And what I'm doing right now I'm grinding up my town rep so I can buy a house here. And yes, there is player housing in this game, and that is really cool. So now I want to talk about WoW a little bit. Um, you know, this game is very, very fun, but obviously, you know, WoW holds a, a special place in my heart for uh, many, many years that it provided just, you know, fun enjoyment, friends, relationships. You know, it's it's sad to see where the game is right now. Um I think this is straight up the lowest WoW has been in terms of subscriber numbers or player participation, even my personal friends list. 
um, that I've seen in the past, I think I've been playing the game for like 12 years. Let's see, what is it? Yeah, 2009. Yep, yep, okay. About about 12 years, maybe maybe closer to 13 years. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, um, WoW is, is definitely struggling. Um, and I want to say that it will make a comeback. Um, but I'm I'm honestly not sure. I don't know why 9.5 isn't released. I was thinking with the uh, the numerous changes that they had done to 9.1.5. I don't know why the 0.5 patch isn't out. Uh, it was meant to address a lot of the um, issues with the current game. Like the joke is, they're bringing it from the beta to live, which actually it's not a joke. It's literally what they're doing. They're doing everything that should have been in the release of the game. Which is why it's important to get that patch out as soon as possible, but at the same time, it's it's already too late. Um, even though personally I wanted all these changes, it hold it holds no value to me to, to return to the game because there's nothing new really coming in 9.1. There's no new true content. Um, even the meta for PvP has stayed the same all of 9.1. And uh, no, I'm not asking for ret nerfs. I'm just looking for like some sort of meta change, uh, like a list, at least a little bit, right? Um, I feel like we've been playing the same patch for all of Shadowlands, and we pretty much have. If you're a, uh, if, specifically if you're a ret paladin, but a lot of other classes have um, pretty much remained the exact same as well. And I'm not asking for class overhauls, but maybe comp changes. Um, obviously, a lot of people have problems with the pacing of the game. The pacing is really, really, really fast. And uh, I, I agree, the pacing is probably a little too fast. I'm a huge, huge fan of uh, fast-paced PvP. But, you know, dying in, in 0.5 seconds from full HP or from 70% HP to almost every class is... It's not... It doesn't have room for outplay. And playing New World has reminded me what having room for outplay is. This game, I'm level 40 right now, and yesterday I wanted to be one to level 57 um, and, and a level 60. This game has PvP scaling, I think, in wars in the 50v50. I'm not entirely sure if it has it in the, the outdoor, outdoor world. But um, the way skill expression is in this game is so fun. It's uh, it's a dodging and blocking skill expression. Um, there's countering abilities. There is weapon swapping. So as you can see, I have two weapons. I have a, um, a war mace and a great axe. And you can swap mid-combat. So like, for example, I'm going to charge and drop a force field on someone so they can't get out. I'm going to attack them right here. You know, force field collapses. I'm gonna grab them back, swap to my mace right here into a stun. Like, there's there's a lot of a lot of things. And usually I don't play mace. Um, I usually play hatchet, but I'm I've been leveling my uh, my mace up. This is a stun. The animations in this game are really cool. There's a, a shock wave, which is a little uh, knockback. Actually, this is the knockback, but the shock wave is sort of a knock. I don't know what I would call it. Uh, it's called in this game a stagger. It's like not quite a stun. Because um, there are certain ways to, it's called grit. You can grit through a, through a stagger. Like this, when my character lit up a little bit of white, he has grit on him so you can't interrupt it with a stagger. But yeah, there are, there are a lot of things in this game that make the combat very, very enjoyable, very balanced. Um, like you can play almost any weapon you want. I wouldn't say there's a bad weapon in this game. Um, there are less popular weapons, but there is a way to make everything work. Um, the talent trees in this game remind me of the old World of Warcraft talent trees. Uh, for example, they look like this. Or actually, my hatch is not a good example because I'm taking all in one tree. But uh, let's see, my great axe is a good example. So I took, you can take um, up to three active abilities per talent tree. And then you can get uh, minor talents, which it's literally just, you know, old, old wild talent points. Like great axe attacks against foes. 30% heal you. I can couple that with this up here. When you crit with the great axe, you heal yourself for 10% of the damage done. So I'm running a very um, life steely spec with this great axe right here. And then I went into the other tree over here, adding grit to my tax. 30% um, longer hold on my pulls. And this talent right here works perfect with with reap, which is my uh, my oops, wrong weapon, which is my death grip ability from the great axe. Um, 
Yeah, just things in this game, they work well together and they remind me how WoW used to work well together. I remembered Cataclysm when you had professions with reforging, which all incorporated into getting your character better in PvP. Uh, you had set bonuses that made up for, for weaknesses in classes. You had talent points that you could change around, uh, not just depending on situations, but you know, you could you could break the meta and play something that is, um, you know, not as common. For example, um, I know some players are taking Hatchet right here. And, let's see, where's the uh, talent tree here? They're taking Hatchet, and they're picking up some of the throwing abilities and, and dropping some of the melee abilities, and that's really cool. Um, there's like a million different ways to play this game, and it just reminds me of what WoW had. Um, the... One thing I will say is this game did crafting professions 10 million times better than WoW ever has, even though WoW has had some times where, you know, professions have been good. This this game just outdoes it, like, right out of the ballpark. You can do your crafting professions in every zone, including the low-level zones. So there will be high levels running around. There, There's always a reason to go to every zone, which is what I miss about WoW. Classic WoW had something close to that. You know, there's reasons to go around the entire map. And that is something that I think WoW should do in their next expansion. Reuse the old zones. I love Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor and Northrend and Pandaria. All those old zones. But there's absolutely no reason to go there other than Transmog Farm. There's no real endgame value of going to old places. So, yeah. That was a bit of rant, guys. I know I've been going on a long time and I have a lot more to say, but... I will be creating content on New World in the future. I am currently unsubscribed to WoW. I don't even have active game time, but I will probably check out 9.1.5. I don't think I'll play it for very long. Um, I know I, I wanted to push Gladiator, but my teammates, they, they quit. Um, I'm 10 out of 50 wins, so I'm really close to Gladiator. So maybe, maybe I'll get it before the end of the season and I'll finish that series. But uh, yeah. Guys, if you are enjoying New World, you know, more power to you. I'm, I'm very glad. Or I, I meant if you're enjoying WoW, more power to you. But right now, myself and a lot of other people are not. Um, I think I of my completely full friends list, which I think caps out at 200, maybe 150, maybe 200. I don't know. I have to delete someone every time I uh, add a new friend. Um, I see like only one to five players on at any given time. It is very, is very sad. But yeah. I'll see you all next video. Um, maybe I will get some WoW content out because I have a bunch of recorded WoW content from uh, weeks prior. And, uh, you know, even though weeks prior, actually months prior, nothing has really changed in the game. So it will still be relevant. I'll see you all next video. Peace.